The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans and welcome to another edition of Transfer Talk, um, which we're doing throughout the January window and today's episode is about the loan move of Tyler Maglua to Northampton Town. Now this is his fourth loan spell away from the club after loan spells at Rochdale, Hartlepool United and then obviously Motherwell up in up in the Scottish leagues. And you'd have to say that this has been coming throughout the course of this season. I think Maglua has struggled to force his way in to the matchday squads. Um and at his age now and at his stage of his career, really under 23's football is doing very little good for him and he really needs to go out and experience some men's football. So to do that away at Northampton, who are currently in the automatic promotion mix-up in League 2, will be good for his development. So I just wanted to kind of reflect on how he did earlier on in the season when he was included in the team um, and how I see his future at the club now that he's out of contract in the summer and leaving the club on loan with only six months less than his deal. So I'll just address those points, really. Um, I think when we had those defensive injuries, um, particularly looking back at the away games at Huddersfield and Blackpool, um, and we look back at those games now with some regret and some concern about the way we defended in those games, and you'd have to say that McGloy was a part of that. He looked like he still had quite a lot of development to, you know, to go through um, to be ready for the first team. And so you'd have to say that in his best interest, that this long goes ahead. Um, you look at the competition, the squad at the moment, and I know that can change with injuries and suspensions and um, things like that. But with the centre backs at the club at the moment, with um, Scott Wharton, Daryl Ennehan, Daniel Ayala, um, Van Heck. And then also you've got the um, rising star from the academy in Ash Phillips, who the manager has name-checked before and rated. And you maybe think that he would be given the chance to step in in an emergency. Then it leaves McGlory in quite a difficult um, position, really, um, and needing these uh, loan deals to get minutes. I think with... The time left on his contract, I think we may be seeing the end of his Rovers career. I think that's um, quite likely now. Um, looking at the personnel we've got and the lack of availability for him, I can't really see how he forces his way back into the first team picture um, and gains the trust of the manager at the end of the day. So um, if this is the last that we see of him, I wish him all the best. Um, I know that he um, will always go with Rovers fans' best wishes. Um, he always seemed like a nice lad who certainly gave 100% every time he put on the blue and white. So considering what we've had in the last um, 10, 15 years, I think everyone would be very grateful for that. So if this is the last we see of Tyler, then obviously thank you very much for your time at Rovers and I wish you all the best for the future. I think I'd just conclude by saying that this is obviously the same club that Scott Wharton went out on loan to and did so well and secured a promotion at Wembley um, a few years ago and I just think that maybe 18 months ago we had the same sort of opinions on Scott Wharton that maybe his time at, at Rovers had come to an end and we couldn't really see him forcing his way in um, and look how that's panned out so never, I'd never give up hope, I'd never give up the ghost on McGlure, um, because he's got so many good attributes with his pace and power and just natural athleticism. But I think as of right now, and the position Rovers are in in the league table at the moment, obviously that can change, but with the position Rovers are in at the moment and the position that the squad is in, certainly in the positions that McGlure would be expected to cover, um, 
I certainly think this is it in his best interests. Um, so I think I'll leave it there. Um, thank you very much for listening. Um, we'll be publishing more videos on the channel throughout the January window. Um, it looks like there could be more incomings and outgoings. Um, certainly long deals to lower league clubs to allow other players to get the same experiences that McGlure is getting now. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I wish you all the best and um, we'll see you all soon. Bye. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.